NBA's most puzzling characters where Draymond Green and Ben Simmons make the list, but there's one who takes the cake in the realm of confounding, Kyrie Irving. And just when you thought Kyrie's career was winding down, hold on tight, because Kyrie is back, and he's not just back, he's still a force to be reckoned with on the court. Let's break it down. Kyrie's season so far has been nothing short of spectacular. Averaging 25.3 points per game, two points higher than his career average, and contributing five rebounds and 5.3 assists per game. But it doesn't stop there. His shooting splits are elite, boasting a 47.3% field goal percentage, 41% from beyond the arc, and a staggering 89.3% from the free throw line. These numbers are not just impressive, they're an affirmation that Kyrie is still at the top of his game. In December, Kyrie's game seemed a bit off, averaging 15.7 points, 3.3 rebounds, and 3.7 assists in just three games. But Kyrie, being Kyrie, had a plan. He acknowledged that he wasn't fully healthy at the start of the season, having taken an unusual 30 to 40 days off. The confidence in his ability to turn things around was unwavering. He said, yeah, I mean, we could say that for sure. Um, yeah, I think it's, it's really for me internally just trusting my body and uh, not necessarily paying attention to anyone's expectations but my own and just being honest with myself. Like, I didn't come into the season the way I wanted to, just the amount of time that I took off, and I knew that the start of the season was going to be a, a healthy challenge. And, you know, I was, said it the other night, in 12 years, I never took 30 days or 40 days off before the season. I'm really just proud of myself for just just being able to get in better shape, few spurts throughout the game, you know, four minute spurts, three minute spurts where I can put six points, seven points, eight points, 10 points, 12 points usually aren't happening. And I gotta live with that as a professional and as a competitor. And live with it, he did. Kyrie dominated the next month of basketball, showcasing his prowess on the court. In January, he tripled the number of games played in December, averaging a staggering 29.6 points, 7.1 rebounds, and 5.8 assists. Talk about a comeback, Kyrie proved that doubting him is a risky game. But what sets Kyrie apart isn't just his stats, it's his ability to score in isolation. When we look at the players with the highest percentage of isolation plays, Kyrie stands out at number 7. And here's the kicker, he's the most efficient among them, scoring the most points per possession in isolation situations. Statistically speaking, if you let Kyrie go one-on-one, -on -one, there's a good chance he's putting the ball through the hoop. Even his peers recognize his skills. When asked about the toughest players to guard, NBA guards themselves named Kyrie alongside Steph Curry. Yeah. Uh, who's the toughest player to guard in your opinion? Donald uh, the it's between, it's between, it's, <laughs> you say who? It's between Ty and Steph. Yeah, valid. Steph because don't stop running around, bro. They acknowledge Kyrie's counters upon counters, making him one of the most skilled players ever to grace the game. Now, let's talk synergy. Kyrie's partnership with Luka Doncic is turning heads. In a game against the Blazers, Kyrie dropped 29 points, 9 rebounds, and 5 assists, while Luka put up 41 points with a 57% 3-point shooting. But the jaw dropper? When Luka passes the ball to Kyrie for a 3, they're hitting at a combined 48%, and vice versa. Kyrie passing to Luka results in a 46.7% success rate. This duo is a defensive nightmare, drawing attention and creating open looks for each other. And it's not just Kyrie and Luka. Teammates like Grant Williams speak volumes about how much easier it is to get open looks when on the floor with these two superstars. The attention they demand opens opportunities for others, creating a synergy that's hard to ignore. Now, Kyrie Irving has been turning heads, and if you thought he was slowing down, think again. This season, Kyrie is delivering like never before. Averaging a whopping 25.3 points per game, Kyrie is not just back, he's making a statement. But it's not just about the numbers, it's about the style, the finesse, and the artistry that Kyrie brings to the court. But let's talk synergy. In a recent game against the Blazers, Kyrie and Luka Doncic put on a show, setting each other up with a basketball ballet that had even the opposing coach scratching his head. Um, and he's seen it, you know, and he, he's, he has an answer for everything you throw at it. That don't mean you don't throw it at it. You know, you gotta just try it every single night. You just wanna compete against him. And then Kyrie obviously presents a different challenge. You know, it's just with his one-on-one, -on -one, uh, him being able to get where he wants to go. As Coach Bops from the Blazers put it, guarding the Mavericks when Kyrie and Luka are in sync is like trying to solve a Rubik's Cube. Tough, but you've got to give it a shot every single night. The Mavericks, with their balanced team, are becoming a defensive nightmare for opponents. 
Now, let's talk back-to-backs. After facing the Blazers, the Mavs had another showdown with them. And surprise, surprise, another W for the Mavericks. Kyrie continued his efficient game with 24 points, 9 rebounds, and 5 assists on a staggering 55% shooting. The mid-range maestro debunked any notions of being washed up, hitting 72% on two-pointers. But what caught our attention wasn't just the stats, it was what players around the league had to say about Kyrie. Anthony Simons from the Blazers shared his welcome to the NBA moment, admitting that Kyrie made him feel like he had no answer on defense. The respect for Kyrie's skill set echoed through various players, with many acknowledging him as one of the best to ever play the game. And let's debunk a couple of myths while we're at it. 1. That 50% shooting is elite. Newsflash, it absolutely is. And 2. That Kyrie's mid-range game isn't automatic anymore. Well, the numbers say otherwise. In 2023, Kyrie shot the second-highest mid-range percentage of his career at 53%, just a smidge lower than his best in 2021. So next time someone says Kyrie's mid-range isn't deadly, just show them the stats. Now let's rewind to a game against the Minnesota Timberwolves, the best offensive team in the league. Kyrie dropped a jaw-dropping 35 points, 8 rebounds, and 5 assists, leading the Mavs to a nail-biting victory. It was a game that showcased Kyrie's ability to take over in crunch time, hitting game-tying and go-ahead threes back-to-back. -back. But what makes Kyrie truly special isn't just his numbers, it's the impact he has on the court. Players from all around the league recognize Kyrie's greatness, with some even confessing to getting up from their seats in awe during his performances. The man's ability to make defenders look helpless is simply beautiful basketball. Now, Kyrie's been making waves, and we're not just talking about his trademark crossovers and silky smooth jumpers. We're talking about the numbers, the records, and the jaw-dropping performances that have the league buzzing. In the fourth quarter of last season, Kyrie led the NBA in total points, dropping a jaw-dropping 551 in just 58 games. That's an impressive 9.5 points per fourth quarter, leaving players like Fox and DeRozan in the dust. And speaking of Kyrie's clutch performances, let's rewind to a game against the Minnesota Timberwolves. Kyrie and Luka Doncic put on a show not just on offense, but also on the defensive end. Jason Kidd, the man with the plan, spoke out about their trust in each other. It's not just about taking turns, it's about making plays for teammates. The Mavs, down six, faced a test of character, and Kyrie and Luka led the charge, proving that the Mavericks are not to be trifled with. But it's not just about one game. It's about Kyrie consistently stepping up. Against the New York Knicks, without Luka, Kyrie dropped a mind-boggling 44 points and 10 assists. He shot lights out, 57% from the field, 60% from deep, and 89% from the free throw line. These are not just numbers. These are works of art. Now, let's talk efficiency. Kyrie currently sits at the second spot in the NBA for self-created shot making, just behind the formidable Kevin Durant. But when you think of great shot creators, you think Durant, Kyrie, Fox, DeRozan, and of course the chef himself, Steph Curry. These are the artists who can turn a step back from the logo into a masterpiece. But here's where it gets interesting. Many players, including the likes of Damian Lillard, have declared Kyrie to have the best looking game in NBA history. Play Kyrie play. I love it. <laughs> I just love the way his game looks. You know he right? ridiculous. He ridiculous, Dave. He ridiculous with them handles, man. That's ridiculous how he do it. It's his handles, but it's just the way he move and how he can play the game. Like, he got the most beautiful game ever. Like, just the way it looks. It's not just about athleticism. It's about skill, craftiness, touch, and feel. The way Kyrie moves, finishes with either hand at the rim, it's a symphony of basketball brilliance. Now, let's address the elephant in the room, Kyrie's reputation. Off the court, he might have some baggage, but on the hardwood, he's a team player. Kyrie is the only player in NBA history to have 40-point games with three different teammates. That's right, in 2016 with LeBron, last year with Luka, and recently with Team Hardaway Jr. against the Pelicans. Say what you want about the locker room drama, but on the court, Kyrie is a teammate you want. And let's not forget the Kiri Luka duo, a dynamic pairing that's causing nightmares for defenders. They became the seventh duo ever to have 30 points, five rebounds, five assists, and five threes made in a game. Defenders, if you're facing these two, you might as well throw in the towel. Enjoyed this content? Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more.